In this video, we'll see how to use the match function in Excel. Given a table such as this of uh, colleges, states, the total cost per year and the student faculty ratio, you can use the match function to look up a particular value, say 13,780 in a particular column and return the relative position of the record or row that contains that value. So for example, for 13,780, you can return the relative position of three, that is one, two, and three, because this is the third record in this table that contains this particular cell. So how do we do that? Place your cursor in the cell H4, press the insert function button, and in lookup and reference, scroll to match, select it, and first you need to insert a lookup value. This is the value that you're searching for in your range. And here it is the cell F4. You can specify a cell or you can specify a number. You can specify, say, 13,780 here instead of F4. Next, specify a lookup array. The array is this array here, C4 through C13. And finally, the match type. There could be three kinds of matches, one, zero, or minus one. We are right now interested in doing an exact match, so we have to specify zero and click OK. And it'll return the position three because this, the third record in this table is the one that contains 13,780, which is the number that is specified here. Now, there are a couple of other options available. Now, here, we specified the exact match, so we specified uh, the match type as zero, and that's exact value lookup, but you could specify the match type to be one or minus one. Now, the match type of one basically means that you can find out the position of the largest number that is less than the specified lookup value. So in this table, the largest number that is less than 10,000 is 9,640 and you can find out the position of that. So let's try to do that. Now, I'm first going to do it um, the wrong way, and then I'll show you what's wrong with it and then show you the right way. So we just, uh, let me just copy this. I'll first, first make this into absolute cell reference, and then I'll just copy this over here, and here I'll just say, okay. Now, I specified the option one and the lookup value is 10,000, but how come it's giving me a position of two? The position of two is this here, but the position that I'm really looking for is one because it's 9,640, which is the largest number less than the lookup value of 10,000. The reason you're getting a strange value here is because the data here is not sorted. So you need to sort the data in ascending order. So click here, click on data, filter and sort this smallest to largest ascending order and and now your position shows up correct it's position number six which is this one here one two three four five and sixth position here's where you find the largest number 9640 that is less than the lookup value of 10,000 now what if you want to do the uh, smallest value greater than lookup value, which is the option minus one. So let me just copy this again here. And instead of one, I select minus one. Again, you get a strange value. Okay, now what should you be getting? Here you should be getting the smallest value greater than 10,000 and that should be 12,415 and you should be getting the number 10 but instead you're getting not applicable. And the reason for that is because for the minus one function to work, your data has to be sorted in the descending order. So let me sort by descending order, largest to smallest. And now you can see that you're getting the correct position for the third value. So 10,000, the position uh, of the smallest number greater than 10,000 is 12,415 and that is in the fourth position. Now you can see that 
the exact lookup works perfectly in either scenario whether you sort this in ascending or descending order but now since you have sorted in descending order the largest value less than lookup value of 10000 is 9640 but its position is not being shown so now that is something i guess we'll just have to be aware of so i hope you found this useful thanks for watching